Uh, about 25 hours ago, if you were sitting right here, mm -hmm. even in our potentially quiet studio, <laughs> you would still have heard this loud, it was like a, a boom, a whoosh, whoosh oh, as they so went by. One. Not once, but twice. Even made your My bracelet, bracelet fell fall off. off. And that yeah. was just me doing it. <laughs> well, <laughs> good job. You know, one person <laughs> actually called us asking it was some sort of attack after they literally took cover. The sound took us by surprise. We rushed out to get video, but the source was long gone by then. Yeah, you know, the crew at Neyland, though, did manage to get it on camera. A pair of F-35 fighter jets. There they go. Not attacking, rather practicing for a flyover at Neyland Stadium to start the Tennessee-Kentucky game. Uh, you know, we see planes, helicopters perform flyovers from time to time, but this struck us as something a little different. So we worked to get in touch with the people bringing those top-of-the-line fighter planes to East Tennessee. WATE 6 on your side reporter Kristen Gallant joins us live now from McGee Tyson Air National Guard Base. Yeah, so Kristen, I know you managed to get a closer look ahead of this aerial spectacle. That's right, Bo and Lori. As you mentioned, we had a lot of calls to our newsroom yesterday. I was sitting at my desk when they flew over, and I was thinking, what is that sound? We made a few calls, and we figured it out. Um, we found out that they were those F-35 jets practicing for the pregame flyover for Saturday's game at Neyland Stadium between Tennessee and Kentucky tomorrow. Today, I got to see these jets in person, and I was really excited for this experience. While I was there, the pilots were also showing some UT students the jets. They say these type of flyovers are a great recruitment tool. And one of the things I love is right now we have a lot of uh, the future Air Force officers from the UT ROTC Debt 800 are out here. And we're showing them the jet, answering their questions, both about uh, the most ad advanced airplane in the world, but also like what is it like to be an Air Force officer? What is it like to be a pilot so that they can uh, start their journey off uh, with as informed as they can be? The F-35s are from the U.S. Air Force 33rd Fighter Wing at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida. One of the pilots is from this area. The other is actually, he went to UT. So this is a special flyover for both of them. I grew up uh, close to the stadium in Knoxville. I actually used to sell um, soft drinks uh, to make money to buy flying lessons. Uh, so I'd walk up and down the stairs of Nayland Stadium uh, many, many times per game. And uh, it's going to be pretty emotional and inspiring for myself just to get to fly over the field uh, in an F-35 for sure. So. Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Hassel tells me they'll be flying around 300 miles an hour and 1,200 feet above the ground. Their goal is to fly over right at the end of the national anthem, but they say once they get off the ground, it's all kind of a game of chance. So let's hope that's not the case for our football team tomorrow, though. Reporting at <laughs> McGee Tyson Airport National Guard Base, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Ooh, oh, Kristen, thank yeah. you. Yeah, timing will be everything. Yeah, it will be. Yeah, that's right. Unlike the last time before the first game, they had the helicopters hovering just off across the river. Can't quite do that with an F-35. Not so. exactly. Yeah. Hey, uh, this is just the latest example of the level of excitement ratcheting up around the UT football program and making Neyland the place to be for college football. Yes, it is.